Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Decker Gaming here, and welcome to another topic video. Today, I'm going to be talking about the new DLC 3 maps for Black Ops 3. Before I get into that, I want to get your guys' opinion on these headphones that I'm getting, this headset. What do you guys think about them? I think they're pretty cool. I'm getting them soon. I just got them from eBay. They're going to come in, like, next week, I believe. So... I'm excited for that um so today i'm talking about the new four dlc map packs i'm not going to talk about the zombies map because i didn't see any gameplay of that so i don't have an opinion of that probably in the future but let's talk about the new dlc maps so first off i want to talk about berserk and i gotta say skyrim remaster looks pretty nice if you know what i mean i'm just me but it kind of does look like a map from Skyrim. It's a pretty nice map. Pretty like snowy map. Mountains on it, all that. It looks like a pretty nice map. It's, it, from what I saw, it looks like it plays pretty well. And it's just a nice map. I keep saying the same words. Um, I just went on different channels to look at how it played. And yeah. It was, Every DLC, well not every DLC, but, well every game, well, at least one DLC has that really icy map. That, this is our one, and again my tablet goes off, but that is our one, that is the one with that DLC. This is the Z DLC where we get that awesome ice map, and I gotta say, they pulled through. But I feel like you could, it is easier to like camp on that map and all the buildings in there. It's easy. There's a ton of ways you could camp. Just get like guardians and hardened sentries. And you're basically set. You will be. It will be so much easier for you to camp in there. Now moving on to the next map. We have cryogen and it kind of reminds me of that one map um vertigo i think it was from black ops 2 it kind of reminded me of that map but it was actually it's actually a pretty nice map it's a very nice map it's easy well not easy but it plays very well and there's a lot of places you could go in like rush to get a bunch of kills I like the design, it looks pretty nice. I don't really have much left to say about this map. So we're gonna move on to the next map, Rumble. And it's actually one of the biggest, it's I'm pretty sure the biggest map in there. And it's actually a pretty decent map. I don't, it's okay, I'm not much of a fan of it. There's always that one map in the DLC that's kind of like, yeah, not, not the best. That is it. Rumble's not really the best map, but it actually is good for like some a lot of competitive stuff. It's good for like ground war down and all that. A pretty nice, well not nice, but cool map. It kind of reminds me of what's a desert map? I forgot. I forgot what it's called, but it reminds me of one of those desert maps because it's like big full of desert stuff but they added some futurists like transformer robot in there so yes and moving on to the final map this is the one the only the one you guys are watching right now which is not my gameplay it's borrowed gameplay and yeah um it is the boss the one and only empire aka raid and again my tablet goes off empire slash raid the balling map the god map the best map one of my favorite remakes of all time i'm probably gonna make a top five best map remakes this is probably gonna make it on there no for the hell of it maybe top 10 i don't know we'll see um but this map is actually a pretty good map I like the way they made it. They didn't change so much about it. They made it actually remade. They didn't really change much, just the design. 
Then I add like an underground thing or like some stuff to make it ruin. They made it actually pretty nice. They didn't ruin the map like they did with Hijack. Kind of made it. It was cool, but it's not the Hijack we know. This one, like I said in old videos, like like a grease type of thing. Um, it's actually pretty nice. I like the columns, all that. It plays just like the original map. Nothing's really changed. I love it. It's a beautiful map. A, one of the best that Black Ops 3 has. And it's uh, beautiful. Now, we're done with the maps. But I want to talk about one more thing. And that is the supply drop weapons. What supply drop weapons? Exactly. We are supposed to be expecting some supply drop weapons soon. That comes after every DLC. Every DLC after we are expecting some supply drop weapons. So, probably soon, in like the next week or two, we'll probably see some supply drop weapons coming in the future so yeah guys i hope you all enjoyed this video if you have leave a like comment comment what we should do next and leave me some questions for the q a that's coming up soon and hit that subscribe button the road to 1k guys and yeah guys i will see you all in the next video goodbye and take care of my deckers peace out